Hello folks, Mark Elias here from New Albany Realty, the Thomas Riddle Real Estate Group. Today, I am psyched. I have Tony Thomas, the man, the myth, from Thomas Riddle Real Estate Group. He's one of the principals of the company. I'm so happy to have him with me today. Tony. Hey, Mark. I'll tell you what, if this is the high point of your day, things are getting really, really sad, aren't they? <laughs> Well, let me tell you, man, there's a lot of isolation these days, so it's nice to connect with a human being. Yeah, well, it's good to see you, too. Thanks for having me on your uh, on your interview series. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you being here with me today. So, Tony, I know a lot of people know you through the community, but um, why don't you just share with the broader audience, what is your specialty in the real estate field, and how long have you been in the business? Well, you know, like everybody else, when you first start, you're a jack of all trades. So uh, did a lot of everything. But over the years, as we've grown, which I think this is our 23rd year, um, I've pretty much evolved to helping the team, um, kind of managing the business and, and working very closely with any listing clients that we have. Um, my wife, Kate, generally will work with, uh, with our buyer clients. So that's, that's pretty much where I am right now. Got it. Of course, during this crisis, I'll work with anybody anytime that they want to work. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat. Um, I know in speaking um, in the past, you know, you've coached me being a member of the team, and I'm so appreciative of that. What do you say your approach is to working with clients? How have you had so much success in the field? That's an interesting question. I, I think it probably has to do with our background. We're both ex-retailers. And in retail, you're always taught the customer's king, the customer's first, the customer's always right. So we really have built the business kind of on that thought that no matter what it is, the customer comes first. And um, it's one of our big caveat, one of our big uh, pillars to, to running the business. And we always coach the team in that. And I always say, you know what, if you're, if you're never if you're not sure what to tell the client, don't look at the client, look over there and see your brother or your sister. Now, what would you tell your brother? And that's the easiest acid test ever. It's like, would you tell your brother to buy this house? No, you're not gonna tell the client to buy it. So client first is, is pretty much how we run it. Got it. Um, I know recently you and the principal members of our team, Kate and uh, Rob Riddle had put together this really cool program. I have not seen this anywhere. It's the uh, two month protection program, buyer protection program. Tell me a little bit more about that and what value it provides to buyers. Well, we were, we were brainstorming and said, you know, what can we do to help our buyers and our sellers that still want to be involved in a real estate transaction in this turbulent time? And um, one of the things that we thought about was insecurity regarding your income and is there anything we could do about that and uh, after a lot of brainstorming and research and working with you and our other agents uh, we came up with a plan that um, at no cost to our buyers uh, we would offer them um, two months of mortgage protection should they lose their job um, hopefully uh, if somebody is concerned about um, you know, that as we all are, I guess, these days, a continuation of, of their employment or just to have in their back pocket to give them some confidence. We thought that would be something that we could actually do um, that is unique and different. We've always tried to approach it. Our, our business as trying to be innovative and first to market with ideas. So instead of just sitting here while uh, this crisis is kind of engulfing us, we thought, well, what can we do to be proactive? So that's the plan we came up with. And we are between our agents like you and us as the company owners, um, we're covering the cost of this. So should one of your clients purchase a home and find that they have lost um, their income, they will step in and pay their mortgage for up to two months. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So I know in our last coaching session this week, you know, I'm always really eager to get your mentorship support, especially during this kind of precarious and peculiar time. Um, you had pointed out to me things that I, I hadn't even considered 
about opportunities that exist for both buyers and sellers. Let's just start with sellers. What unique opportunity has COVID created for sellers during this period of time? Inventory scarcity. There, there. Believe it or not, there are still people out there, uh, out there buying. In fact, if you remember on our team call that this week, we all um, were pretty thrilled and congratulated each other that we have not had a single week since this started that we call it a goose egg, where nothing has gone into contract. We're putting things in contract every week now, substantially less than we used to, but still, people are out buying. Some people need to buy a new house. So the good news for sellers is there's very, very little inventory out there. So, um, and the people that are out, trust me, during this crisis are serious. It's kind of like we tell buyers in January, uh, sellers, I'm sorry, January. Tire kickers are not gonna go out in January and freeze themselves. If somebody's looking at your house in January, they're pretty serious. Yeah. It would be the same thing now. Yeah. The other thing you said to me, which I, I made a note of, and I've been taking action on is investors. This is a great opportunity for investors to acquire depressed properties. Um, and that's another great opportunity as well. Um, the other thing you had said to me, which I thought was really cool. And I, I just forgot about it, which is now is a great time to do the projects that you've always been thinking about doing. Now is the time to do them. Contractors are available. You could even get them at discount because there's not a lot of competition. And I thought that was a really great reminder, which I intend on sharing with my clients. True. And also, if your spouse is like mine, then you're going to have, since you're home anyway, there's a lovely honeydew list that you okay. can do. Okay. So if, if you're going to be doing, if you're considering selling, maybe not now, but in the future, Go ahead and do those things that, A, you want to do to your home to please you, but with an eye toward the resale market. Yeah. So, uh, and there's some things that are going to please you, but probably want to add another 50 cents to the bottom line. There's other things that you can do that will please you and add value to your home. So, you know, if you're, if you're curious or uh, interested in what those things would be, just let us know and uh, we'll be delighted to talk to you about it. Awesome. But, you're absolutely right. You might as well uh, kill two birds with one stone. Tony Thomas, I so appreciate you. The chance to work with you is an honor. Uh, I happen to so enjoy your company. Your sense of humor is amazing. And um, I'm really happy you joined me here today. Thank you, sir. You know what? It's all those years at Macy's in New York. You know, we're simpatico. <laughs> all right, man. So I'll see Thank you soon for our next call. And there you have it, folks. Tony Thomas, Thomas Riddle Real Estate Group. See you, Mark.